Hey, what's going on guys? This is the Figure King coming to you with another review. Now today we're going to be taking a look at another Marvel Legends line. Uh, this is the uh, two-pack Iron Man Mark 27 and Marvel's War Machine. Uh, of course, this is the War Machine from the new Captain America Civil War movie. Uh, that's the uh, Don Cheadle, uh, that's the, the armor Don Cheadle Don in that film. Uh, this is actually not an Avengers figure. I don't know why it says Marvel's Avengers on the um, on this side of the box. That's actually an Iron Man 3 figure. Uh, but right down at the bottom you can see that these are the names of the figures. Marvel's War Machine, Iron Man Mark 27. And uh, this is actually a concept series. That's from the concept series. I don't know if you guys remember. Uh, well, of course you did if you saw the movie. It was one of the best parts of the movie. Uh, Iron Man 3, when he broke out with all of his uh, armored suits, this was actually one of them. Uh, I don't remember seeing this one, but it was there. Uh, they also have a Hot Toys version of it. Uh, now, if you look at the um, packaging, you'll see, of course, that this is a Hasbro uh, property. You got the uh, warning, the choking has a warning there on the, uh, on the left hand side by War Machine. Here on this side of the box, we get a nice image of the disco armor. Down at the bottom it says Marvel Avengers. Here on the other side, we get a nice image of the War Machine figure. Down on the bottom, it says Marvel Captain America Civil War. And here on the back, we get a nice picture of both of the figures. We get the names of the armors. And we also get a brief bio. If you want to read that, you can pause it now and go ahead and do a quick read up on that. That's pretty much it for the packaging. Um, Altogether, I think the packaging is pretty cool. Um, I don't know if I'm going to... Well, yeah, I'm, I actually am going to keep the packaging because these guys are going right back in. Uh, I've got figures everywhere. So, yeah, um, I don't really see the need of keeping these guys out. But I'm going to go ahead, take a break, get these guys out of the packaging. I shall return. Okay, guys, now before we continue with the review, one thing I wanted to point out was the uh, cardboard back. Uh, that's really, really nice. Uh, what it is, is it's basically an arc reactor. It's uh, Iron Man's chest. Uh, that's the arc reactor there. See, it's got like some uh, battle damage on it. That's a really nice touch. So if you guys want to display it with that uh, you're more than welcome or if you just want to you know uh, keep it in a box and you can do it like that uh, it'll look pretty cool but yeah just have a figure standing on this that would be awesome if I had the room to I'd probably display them like that um, but uh, yeah so without further ado um, we're gonna take a look at the figures now another thing I want to point out is the disco armor actually didn't have a blaster cannon in the movie I don't know why they included that accessory um, I would have much rather like to like to have gotten some you know extra hands like uh, repulse blaster hands or something like that I uh, could have really done without that shoulder cannon uh, but the reason why we get that shoulder cannon is because the Mark 27 is actually a repaint of the Hulk Buster Build a Figure War Machine, and uh, of course he had that uh, that that blaster on his shoulder. But uh, yeah, I, 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 if I'm gonna display him, he's not gonna have that. So uh, as a matter of fact, I don't like how it looks. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take it off and actually show it to you guys. Uh, but I'm not going to put it back on because, like I said, I, 
I really don't like the way it looks. And this guy doesn't. There we go. Um, so it's actually done with like this gunmetal gold type finish. Uh, it looks really nice, the color. Uh, but yeah, I just don't like. Yeah. I don't like the fact that he has that, you know, big clunky uh, shoulder cannon on him. Uh, I don't like how that looks. Um, but yeah, as far as accessories for this guy, this is pretty much the only accessory that he comes with. Um, just looking at the figure, I think that the uh, the paint job is really nice. Uh, the deco's cool. It's, it's really, really nice. Um, the helmet is painted clean. I don't really see any splotches of paint or anything. Oh, we got just a, a small splotch you can barely see there uh, towards the chin, but that's pretty much it. Uh, and you can see the hinges in between the shoulder pads and here on his uh, arms are the same color as the blaster there. But I think the uh, sculpt work is pretty good. Uh, paint's clean. Uh, we do get well, just a little bit of uh, bleed in there. Some orange paint. Uh, no big deal. Uh, we get, of course, the traditional Marvel Legends uh, serial numbers there on the legs. I don't know why I don't put those on the bottom of the feet. But I like the uh, gloss finish. Uh, orange paint. I thought this was a pretty interesting looking uh, figure. Uh, when I first saw it, when I first saw that they were releasing it, I, saw, I was like, oh yeah, I think that was one of the armors that was in Iron Man 3. Um, it's basically a metallic blue paint, and we can see some marbleization there. Uh, in the back piece here, and the shoulders. Uh, I don't really see any in the head. The head is really solid. Um, yeah, the orange is a nice touch. That bright orange. Uh, I also like the uh, paint in the center of his chest. It looks like his arc reactor is lighting up. It's basically just a white dot, a white painted dot with some dry brushing, some white dry brushing around it. So that's cool. And another thing I like about this figure and I think that the War Machine figure has it too, I'm not sure, um, is the shoulder pads. Um, the Iron Man that we got with the uh, Age of Ultron, he had shoulder pads but they didn't have, they, they weren't like able, you weren't able to rotate them or move them. So if you moved his arm up like that and it stayed there for a while the shoulder pad would stay up there uh, you weren't you weren't able to move it back down but yeah I mean like I said you guys will probably probably get it for the uh, war machine this uh this set here is two pack for the war machine figure but this is a nice added bonus I'm not not too upset about it and uh, as you can see there are two peg holes back here in the back you can actually mount this on either side, but like I said, uh, he's probably not going to be posed with it. And I don't like how it looks on that side anyway. Um, but, yeah. So, as far as the articulation goes, his head is on that standard ball joint. He can move his head up that much, move it down that much, and before I continue with the articulation, I just, I wish he had gotten open uh, hands for like flight poses and uh, repulsor uh, blast poses, but they didn't give us that. Uh, his eyes are a nice, a nice clean white color as well. But he has the nice ball joint, the shoulder, it's just, arms go up quite a bit uh, these do get in the way just a little uh, he can do the uh, 
rock back and forth. They would go a full 360 degrees if that, again, wasn't in the way. He has the double jointed elbow. Uh, these joints are kind of stiff when they're fresh out of the uh, package. Uh, that's a uh, issue that's well known with the uh, Marvel Legend figures. Um, I mean, I'm not going to be too upset about it because it's a well known issue. And you can uh, heat up the joints a little bit by running some hot water on them and, uh, you know, let them sit for a minute. But uh, he has the swivel in the wrist, has a bit of a pivot. Uh, it doesn't go up because of the uh, the uh, guard there on the hand, but he has the bicep swivel. There's no forearm swivel or anything like that. He has the ab crunch. He crunches down that much, which really isn't that good. Um, he crunches up that much, and as you can see, they uh, finished the, uh, the 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 torso part there, so it goes all the way up. So when he's looking up, he doesn't look weird uh, because it's completely done. So you don't have like lines here and nothing up here. Um, he can rotate at the uh, app. He doesn't have waist articulation he has the ball joints there so he can it splits about that much he can kick his leg up that much these do get in the way uh, back that much which is okay for an Iron Man figure he has a double jointed knee so get some nice uh, articulation there in the knee and I believe he has a rock uh, these joints are really stiff. He does have articulation in the ankle, but these guards really do keep keep that uh, that articulation hidden. So you can't really move his uh, ankles that much. Uh, so just for uh, just just for comparison, or just to see if it'll actually work, I actually got the. Uh, the new uh, bleed, not bleeding edge uh, figure that we got, the three pack Iron Man figure that we got with the uh, Civil War line. I took the uh, Tony Stark head out and I just wanted to see how it would look. So, pop that off. I'm just gonna go ahead and pop this on just to see how it looks. gonna lie looks pretty weird <laughs> um it's definitely the wrong type of head for the uh figure you can see a lot of this a little too much of the uh ball joint <laughs> you can almost see full ball joint especially if he's looking up he looks like a giraffe um uh, i guess just leaving him looking like that would be okay but uh, yeah, we're gonna pop that off and pop this back on. Pop the armor head back on. Um, oh, and I forgot he does have the swivel in the die as well. So, War Machine is the one that I'm kind of excited about. Uh, War Machine is just a really nicely done figure I like the uh, the uh, the finish on them the matte finish really cool this is a beefier figure and this is a brand new sculpt so this isn't a reuse of any other past war machines or Iron Man's um, so of course he's got the standard dark gray and silver paint apps I like how he has this badge there you can also very clearly see his name, Lieutenant uh, Colonel James Rhodes. Uh, it would have been nice if he came with an alternate Don Cheadle head scope, but uh, we don't get that, but we get a ton of other accessories. Um, yeah, there's no bleeding. This is pretty much a really 
clean, clean deco. Uh, now we see the serial numbers there again on the inside of his leg, though. Um, had the repulsors there. Uh, I like the uh, head sculpt and the, the paint that we get. Really clean, really clean indeed. Uh, his arc react is pretty much um, done with a light red paint. It doesn't shine as much as Iron Man's does. But yeah, oh, and his shoulder pads do do the same thing. But he, by him being a little thicker, he has a little bit more in, in here. So uh, you can't you can't get these to go up as far as that figure. But um, he did his arms up pretty good. So just to go over the articulation, head's on the standard ball joint. He looks down that much. He looks up that much. Uh, you can actually turn his head a full 360 degrees, which is impressive, uh, seeing as how we get a lot of the uh, a lot of the cushioning up here. Uh, you would think that that would get in the way. Uh, he can put his arms up that much. He can rock them back and forth. Um, they would go a full 360 degrees. Like I said, if the shoulder pad wasn't in the way, he has the bicep swivel double jointed elbow he has the waist uh, I'm sorry wrist swivel uh, wrist pivot swivel pivot he has a ab joint he looks down that much it crunches back that much which is barely moving at all and this is the reason why because he has a lot of padding uh, back there and a lot of this is like soft uh, plastic so from here on back it's pretty much soft plastic no waist articulation his leg goes up that much back that much he has the thigh swivel ball joints but he can hit the splits about that much because he is a beefier figure he has a double jointed knee and like Iron Man he has the uh, swivel and pivot in the waist, oh, and his leg came off, or his, his foot came out of the joint. Um, but because, because he's a beefier figure, you can't really, can't really pose his, uh, his feet or legs around that much. Uh, that sucks, that's never happened before, but it's not broken or anything um, so just to look at his accessories uh, he also comes with a really nice uh, shoulder cannon uh, so there are two holes here uh, two square holes just plug those in like that it fits loosely so you can't uh, like move it around too much because like I said, it is kind of a loose fit. Uh, the gun on the top does uh, rotate. And it also does that. So I'm going to take that one out. Uh, he has the... He has another gun that goes up there. It's basically, when he's in flight, uh, it goes inside there. Uh, and it extends out when he's about to use it. And we also have another one that goes in there like that. And like I said, that's when he's in flight. We get those. I don't know what this one is really. I think this might be a little shrunk down version of his battle baton before he pulls it out and it extends. Um, but he gets, speaking of which, the battle baton that just goes in his hand like this. He holds it okay, and he actually does use that in the movie. Fits a little bit loosely, but not too bad. 
Uh, he does come with a couple closed fisted hands. And he also comes with these wrist mounted uh, blasters, which this one goes over here on this side. They plug in like that and you can fold them down. Uh, I believe that's the clip. Um, and he also has he also has blasters that's molded into the uh, the uh, forearm. So that's pretty cool. Uh, well, and that that wasn't supposed to happen. It fell out, but I can get it back in. It's not really that big a deal. The other one lugs right in. Here on the other side, like that, and yeah, so that's pretty much it. This guy comes with a ton of accessories, um, and yeah, like I said, if you guys are gonna get this, this, this uh, two pack, you're gonna find it at Target, and you're probably primarily gonna get it for war machine here um that's pretty much it for the review oh before i go let me see how the tony stark here to look on war machine wow that that joint is really small but it'll fit on, it, it'll fit on there but you can't really get them to you know oh he looks up but that ball joint is really small so it comes off very easily and you know if it falls off the shelf or you know you're handling it a certain way it will fall right off um, so yeah guys that's pretty much it um, let me know what you guys think uh, leave a comment in the comment section uh, if you guys like this 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 two pack uh, let me know you know if you hate it let me know Go ahead, give this video a thumbs up. I'm the Figure King. Keep collecting. And remember, subscribe. Peace.